Hey, what's up? Um, Today is th- Friday, the 9th of August 2013. Um, I'm one half of Zinfinity, Al, and I'm here with the other half. Mo. And today we're going to quickly talk about the now famous um, British English magi- uh, magician, Dynamo. And we're going to talk about his um, interesting past. Uh, yeah, this is just a disclaimer and a quick point that this information is not something that I've verified and um, it's not something that I've gotten first hand. It was pretty much something that I got through someone or was told by someone. It's like hearsay, kind of. So it could be false, it could be true, who knows. And I'm sure there's other people who've heard it and know about it. And also the other point is that I have nothing against Dynamo. I mean, I think he's a, he's very, very, very good at what he does, obviously. And, um, you know, I mean, yeah, I've got nothing against him. It's just interesting. It's something that I'd, I mean, it's just interesting, basically. Isn't that right? Dude, yes, yes. Yep, so let's get right to it. I was working as a security guard at, uh, at the London 2012 Olympics. Um, I think I was working, actually I know I was working uh, at a park somewhere in the southeast of London. I don't want to be too specific here for obvious reasons. But it was, a, it was in a park somewhere in southeast London and it was a night shift, which basically means that shifts the shift started from... 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. in the evening and ended at 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. the next morning and I love those kind of shifts because there's nothing much to do but um, yeah it was a good shift I remember one guy got suspended for using his phone and I remember ending up with uh, several mosquito bites uh, on my arm but that's a side thing but yeah um, there was a guy who I was working with um, basically let me kind of explain it so when you, when you get to the night shift you're sent off to your, to your location um, we just have to kind of sit down and patrol, not patrol even, just sit down and just keep an eye out. And um, when it's time for your break, you go to your break and come back. And if you want, if if, the, if your manager or your team leader or whoever tells you to move, then you have to move, obviously. But anyway, I was saying I got paired with this guy right from the start. He's from Bradford and um, he's Pakistani, he's Pakistani, obviously. And uh, yeah, we just got chatting, and you know. I, I, I like when I'm with someone new. I, I ask. I like asking a lot of questions. You know, like what they do, where they're from. You know, what's, what's it like where they live. You know, just trying to you know get to know them. You know, make time pass, kind of thing. And um, yeah, I just, I just kept. I just asked him. You know, we just chatted, chatted away. And he was from Bradford, and he was telling me about you know how life is like, how life is like in Bradford. You know. And, um, so, you know, how did this topic about Dynamo come up in the conversation? Yeah. So so basically, um, he said that. Um, no I, no, I think I said to him, or I don't know how it got, I don't know how it started, but I said to him, you know, or like, you know, because one, you know, One Direction, I'm sure oh, you know, yeah, Same yeah, that Zayn Bradford. Malik guy from One Direction, he's from Bradford as well, right? Yeah. And um, <clears throat> actually, I'm not sure if it was that. Actually, I think it was that we, we, I know we were actually it was a park, right? So it was scary. Yeah, nighttime as and well. Right? It was, yeah, nighttime. So we had to actually walk um, across the thick, thick part of the park at night. So with the lights off, obviously there were some lights on, but a lot of it was pitch black. So we had just each other. It was kind of fun, and we were safe, from, safe and whatever. But it was fun. It was kind of you know, we we were alone, so we had to walk, kind of navigate and stuff. And it was like like really pitch black because it's it a park. There's no lights. Yeah. And so we were. T- I think we were just talking about how ghosts and stuff, just randomly mucking about. And then uh, he just came up with the. I think he came up. With, either Zayn Malik thing brought it up, or the the fact that it was night and it was kind of scary brought it up. But he said that oh you know people often ask him. Or oh, you know Zayn Malik from One Direction, you know, because he's from Bradford as well, and he and he so, he, so th- this is him saying he was like to me, yeah. So he 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 told me this is he basically said to me, oh you know people often ask me, do I know Zayn Malik from One Direction, and and then he said that no, you know I don't know him, but he, he said that I do know Dynamo, and I, I was like who's Dynamo? Because I didn't even know who Dynamo was back then, and he was like oh Dynamo is a magician, like he's kind of like a a trickster, like a, a magician kind of guy. And I was like, oh really? And I, I didn't even know Dynamo, so I didn't really press with it. But he was he was saying that oh, you know Dynamo basically, like he said Dynamo. Um, he's from Bradford. He's a Bradford lad, so to Bradford say. Bradford guy. This Bradford guy. And then there. he said that um, to, to sum it up, he said the Bradford um, Dynamo. Like I think he had some sort of accident or tr- he was in some difficult situation. Some he had some disease or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. I I didn't even yeah. know much about him because I don't really follow him that much. But he had some sort of uh, difficulty in his life, and um, he said that. Um, I mean, this guy obviously met Dynamo. I'm assuming, and he said, uh, or he he, he knew, pe- knew people who knew Dynamo, and he said yeah. that Dynamo basically said to whoever 
that um, you know he's gonna. I guess his situation was so bad, Dynamo's situation was so bad that he, really, he his life sort of flashed in front of him. So he he kind of said that he said to people around him that you know I'm gonna make something of myself. You know, see you in a few weeks or few months I'm gonna be famous worldwide or whatever. You know, just kind of bigging himself up a bit. You know, um, saying that you know he's trying to basically hype by himself and hype, yeah, come back. You know, plan big bigger, things yeah. in the near future. And so he said that basically I don't know how people how this got out, but he said that Dynamo either told people or people kind of um, observed it by Dynamo. Apparently, I, I I don't know if it's true or not, but he said that he um, uh, like went into live in the woods for a week, like uh, secluded himself and started worshiping the devil or worship something within the woods. And um, I don't know, he just kind of gets submit, submitted himself or something like that for a week or a month. I'm not sure exactly. And then when he came back, his career obviously blew up, apparently. But um, that's, him. yeah, pretty much it. So basically, the, yeah, he just went to the woods, started devil worship or something, and came back out and so you became think a he's, big so megastar. So you of. think he's uh, working with jinns? I don't know, because I don't really believe that. I'm, I've, uh, I'm quite skeptical myself. Like, what, was your, what was your initial I'm, I'm the kind of guy that needs wait, wait, to see you, it to be. you heard the guy, what was your reaction? When he, um, when I didn't know Dynamo, so I didn't really, to be honest, care. But like, oh, he, okay, he, he kept okay. talking about it. He was like, oh, you know, Dynamo said that he worshipped the devil and, um, you know, he said that he was going to become a success and he did after, after coming out of the seclusion period. So, so he went to live in the woods? Yeah, he said he apparently stayed in the woods or secluded himself somewhere in the woods. And Again, this is not something that I, ver- I can verify. It's not my information. It's not, so it's not meant to defame anyone or whatever. Yeah. It's just something that I've heard. Well, I'm not sure if it's true. It could be fake. I mean, well, I mean, it, it Dynamo, is, Dynamo is. I mean, some of his tricks do seem like pretty unexplainable. Yeah. And but I'm, but I'm not the kind of guy that you know. I'm, I'm a pretty skeptical guy. I like to question everything a lot. So I've, I mean, I'm not sure how much of it's true, but you know, the fact is, people do do this stuff. You know, some people are into this kind of stuff, and um, if he, if he was, then that's his past. I mean, I haven't got an opinion on that, but you know, that's 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 pretty much it like you know so he's harnessing the ghosts and devil's powers too but yeah i mean that that guy like pressed he pressed on about dynamo quite a bit you know he kept mentioning and i'm like who the hell is dynamo man if he's mentioning that much i, that I didn't hear about him then i mean right? i didn't think he was that big back then was he last year he wasn't that big was he last year he kind of blew up this year maybe no, last maybe year. he was actually but we didn't no even no follow no, him. no last year i knew about him oh, uh, you knew I about him. him for like two three years yeah oh yeah i didn't know about him so um yeah that's pretty much it i mean Again, this is uh, I, I don't want to like uh, like say anything. This is not this is not meant to be anything negative or anything. It's just information that I heard and I thought it would be it would be interesting to share. Yeah, so, uh, it'd be cool to see what you guys think about this. So you know, like your responses, yeah. your views. Leave your comments below. Yeah, just like, if, think, if, you, if, if, if you think it's crazy, it's a ridiculous if story. Is, if, if you th- if you think it's a stupid crap, then you're very <laughs> you're, you're very welcome to leave a comment. I just don't really like the video. If you don't like it, like the video. If you like, let it. me finish, mate. <laughs> um, yeah, you can leave com- whatever comment you like. I don't really care. I mean, but I just wanted to get that out there. I'm sure there's other people in Bradford who know about this. You know, it's, it's a very Asian community. You know, the word gets around. However, we tried to search for this online, but there's nothing. Nothing came up about this, so. And, well guy, and and I don't I don't know if the guy who told me is listening to this or or if there's anyone from Bradford listening to this um, if they would like to you know confirm or disprove what I'm talking about then feel free to do so um, doesn't really you know it's not it's, you know uh, I'd like to see the responses but um, you know share your thoughts in the comments below tell us what you think yeah tell us what you think like this video dislike this video again you if know. you think I'm talking rubbish then that's fine I mean it doesn't really bother me but. It's, I just thought it was interesting information to be in the public domain, which I'm assuming it already is. Yeah, so, you know, subscribe if you want. Uh, we'll, we'll be making more discussion videos in the future. Yeah, like very, maybe we'll very show our faces topics. in the future, who knows? Huh? Maybe we'll show our faces in the future, who knows? But right now we're new to this, so we're taking it one step at a time. Yeah. And we'll see what goes, what happens. But yeah, that was... Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And subscribe. Just stay tuned with our videos. Uh, thanks for watching. See ya. Bye. Bye.